What's going on guys? Welcome to your long promised first Android game development tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to install the stuff we need for developing games on Android. We're going to be using an engine called And Engine uh, which is a free 2D open source uh, game engine for Android and that's what we're going to set up and install in today's tutorial. Hopefully, if we if we can cover it all in one tutorial, otherwise it might take two. The first thing that we need is we're going to download something called Mercurial. Um, so we're just going to search Mercurial uh, download in uh, Google. And then we want to go to this site right here, as you can see. We're going to click that, and we have our downloads for whatever you're working on. Uh, my, mine is the Mac OS 10.7 here. I just hit download. You install that. Hopefully you guys can figure that out. I'm not going to download and install again, but hopefully you guys, like I said, can figure out how to do a, a simple install. And you know, I don't have any doubt in my mind that you you guys are going to have trouble with that. So once you install that, what that's going to do is when we open our command prompt uh, on Windows, you hit your start button, and in the search type CMD, hit enter. That's your command prompt. On Mac, it's called the terminal. I'm going to open that bad boy up right now. So basically Mercurial will allow us to download stuff from our command prompt into a certain into a certain folder, get everything organized. And that's what we're gonna need. So um, it's not just kind of a simple download, like click download and install the Android en engine. We're gonna have to use this Mercurial uh, to help us download it. All right, so let's click on like my computer if you're on Windows or your Finder uh, in, in Mac here. And we're just gonna set up a new folder I'm going to set mine up within documents here. So I'm just going to, you know, create a new folder and I'm going to call this uh, and engine and engine uh, jars. So we're just going to hit OK there. And within here, this is where we're going to download our and engine stuff that we're going to need for developing Android applications. Now, hopefully by now, uh, your Mercurial is set up and you guys have opened up your command prompt. Again on Windows, go to Start, type in CMD, Enter, bam, there's your command prompt. And then on Mac, again, you just go to your Applications, uh, Utilities, Open Terminal right here, and we're good to go, uh, good to continue with this little tutorial here. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go to the andengine.org website, which again, this is open source, pretty free, pretty awesome. And again, my uh, my furnace is kicking on. It's pretty loud, so hopefully you guys can still understand what I'm saying and everything. But once we go to this site, what we need to do is we need to click this source box right here, and here is where we're gonna get our uh, basically our downloads. And right here is where we're gonna get all the the source source code that we're gonna need for the and engine and to set it up within our project. And right now we're in the main and engine or Android engine. I'm just going to call it and uh, this is what we need to download first. Down here we have some more extensions but first we need to download the engine itself so we're going to go up to the source tab right here click that and as you can see we have something like this. Now I'm just going to copy and paste that into like a text document and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to the extension like if you guys are wanting to develop a live wallpaper we want this extension to the Android uh, game engine or the Android engine here and then so we just click on the extension that we want go to source again and then copy and paste this line of code again into a text uh, like a, a word or a notepad or something I'm just gonna suggest that you download all the extensions right now or copy all those codes um, and also I'll put that into the description if you don't want to go to each one now the next thing that we need to do is after we have our main list this is the line of code for our engine itself all these other ones are for extensions um, so I'll put this into the description you guys can copy that or you know you guys can use this as well um, but the next thing that we want to do basically how this is going to work when we run this line of code within our command prompt or our terminal it's going to download it for us and then that, the next thing that it's looking for is what we want to label whatever we're downloading so we're just gonna go at the end of this line hit space and we're gonna type uh, Android engine or actually I should just say and engine 
and that's what it's going to label our file for us. So I'm just going to copy and paste this for each one. Um, so give each one of these a unique title. So I'm going to say and engine live wall paper or live wall and then space at the end and engine uh, looks like this is a mod so I'm just gonna say mod and engine you know hopefully you get the gist so uh, yeah just make sure you give each one of these a unique name after the line of code so all I'm gonna do is gonna have the same name as kind of the extension I'm oops copy that and then space paste give it a little more room and uh, I'll put this in the description as well. If you guys want to have different names, then go ahead and change, you know, this part. But I'm just showing you what I'm just going to show you what that does. Um, and you know, just there we go. Now we're good to start downloading the stuff that we need. So again, in our finder, if I can find it, uh, right here we have our and engine jars. Again, that was in my documents. So I think it was, wasn't it? yeah it's in my documents here so next thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to locate that folder that we set up at the beginning of this tutorial uh, within our command prompt or within our terminal and how you do that is by going CD and then the location that you're currently at so as you can see here it starts at Travis Cornelius which is my name and then it goes to uh, documents so we're gonna have to type CD dot space documents forward slash uh, and engine uh, jars so there we go we're gonna hit enter and now we're in that specific folder it's, just, it's basically just the same as us clicking here and then clicking on our and jar and we're located here now so we're gonna run these lines of code individually I'm just gonna copy this here and go over to my terminal and paste and hit enter and as you can see it's requesting all changes adding change sets uh, basically it's downloading it for us installing it into the file that we were in um, which is our and engine jars as you can see here this is what we have downloaded with the name that we have given it so that's all good all we're gonna have to do now is just again copy a line of code that we created uh, and download all of our basically extensions so I'm just gonna copy these clip the video um, because it's pretty repetitious all right, so that's my last one. We have created our engine and all of our extensions folders in here, and as you can see, it's an Android project. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to convert these, basically, folders into a jar. And that's what we're going to get into in the next tutorial because this one's getting kind of long. So make sure you check out the next tutorial, guys. It's going to be important, and I know this is the boring stuff, but once we start developing games, it's going to be totally worth it. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys.